hi in this video i'm going to show how to update profile x 1.1 to the latest version which is profile x 2.0 so you cannot upgrade profile x 1.0 to 2.0 but you have to be in the latest released version so which is 1.1 so first of all you need to this is the website we have currently this is profile x 1.1 and now we are going to update it so you after you downloading download the files from envato you will get a zip file updater uh, named updater 1.1 hyphen 2.0 dot zip so i'm going to upload that zip file here this is the file updater hyphen 1.1 hyphen 2.0 dot zip upload this file in the root folder of the project so, uh, let it upload okay now refresh this page and this zip is uploaded extract it here so after you extract it refresh this you will get an updater folder now click on uh, the delete the updater 1.1 to 2.0 now go to slash updater route so you will see the updater interface so first of all must read these terms and conditions before you proceed with the updater so you must be at profile x 1.1 version so anything older any version older than 1.1 cannot use this updater so you need to keep backup of this project files of these files keep backup of these files as zip so make them as zip like that compress and then uh, you need to keep backup of the database previous database also you can export that from php my admin which i am not going to show so if you then the next point is if you didn't keep a backup and then we cannot take the responsibility of the losing data so if anything goes wrong updating using this updater then we won't be able to take the responsibility if you didn't keep a backup of your older version so all your customized code will be lost if you have changed any code here in the project files if you have changed any html php code then it will be overridden we can only track our code uh, customized code but we cannot track your customized code this is impossible for us so after that click on this button i have read so this will inject some updater code into your project files so there you have to enter your website host name this system will automatically detect the website host name so there are some hints to enter the website host name here the hints are if the url is https slash example.com then the host will be just this one this part and if this is a subdomain like this then the host will be this part but of course your url will be a domain based url not a subdomain because your users will be using subdomains so the host is already detected by the system but if it detects wrong host name then please correct it using these hints now click on update the database and languages so click on that and wait for it don't click anywhere else now this is updated successfully to the latest version just delete the updater folder just delete this updater folder from here before that go to website click on go to website and now delete the updater folder so now i can see the website has been updated successfully i can see the pricing has features has been changed you have to um, manipulate these features from admin panel package management so you can see all the pages now that is how you will update the to the latest version using the updater so thank you for watching